Hello, this is Not Your Chem Tutor, and in this video, I will teach you how to convert mass percent to percent mass per volume and vice versa. I expect that you already have an idea on how to solve mass percent and percent mass per volume. But if you're not familiar with these topics, don't worry, you can check the description box. I put their links to my videos. Also, before you continue this video, make sure that you know how to perform dimensional analysis in converting units. If you are not familiar with dimensional analysis, you can check again the description box. I put there a link to my video. Okay, let's have a quick recap about mass percent and percent mass per volume. Mass percent is also known as percent by mass or weight percent or percent by weight and sometimes you can see symbols like percent mass over mass or percent weight over weight so all of these just mean the same thing so the formula for mass percent is grams of solute divided by grams of solution times 100 or you can think of it this way what does percent mean Cent means 100. So percent means per 100. So for example, let's say you are given 50% by mass. What does this mean? This means 50 grams of solute per 100 grams of solution okay that's mass percent now let's move on to mass per volume percent or you can see the symbol percent m over v so percent mass over volume is equal to grams of solute divided by ml of solution times 100 again this is also in percent so this is also per 100 so, for example, let's say you are given 50% mass over volume. What does this mean? This means 50 grams of solute per 100 ml of solution. So again, mass percent is grams of solute per 100 grams of solution and percent mass per volume is grams of solute per 100 ml solution. Now, when the problem is asking you to convert mass percent to percent mass per volume or the other way around, the problem must provide the density of the solution. If the density of the solution is not given in the problem or there's no way for you to find out the density, then you cannot do the conversion. Okay, please take note of this. You need to look for the density when you are given this type of problem. Let's try to answer example 1. The concentration of hydrochloric acid in a solution is 37% by mass. What is the concentration in percent mass per volume? The density of the solution is 1.18 grams per ml. In this problem, we are given percent by mass. 37% by mass. And we will convert this to percent mass over volume. So how do we do this? Remember what I told you a while ago, when you say percent by mass, that means grams of solute per 100 grams of solution. So 37% by mass means 37 grams of solute per 100 grams of solution. So let's just rewrite that. 37 grams of solute 
per 100 grams of solution. And we will convert this to percent mass per volume. So I want you to look at the formula for percent mass per volume. It says here that the numerator is grams of solute and the denominator is ml of solution. Now look at our given. The numerator is already in grams of solute. However, the denominator is in grams of solution. And what we want is ml of solution. So how do we convert grams to ml? We use the density, which is 1.18 grams per ml. This means that 1 ml of the solution weighs 1.18 grams. So we plug that into our conversion. 1.18 grams of solution has a volume of 1 ml. So grams of solution will cancel and the unit on the bottom is now ml of solution. Now that we have grams on top and ml on the bottom, What's missing is times 100. So just put times 100. And if you solve this in your calculator, this is equal to 43.66. And this is now your percent mass over volume. Now let's try the other way around. So for example 2, the concentration of acetic acid in a vinegar sample is 5% mass per volume. What is its mass percent concentration? The density of the vinegar sample is 1.05 grams per ml. So this time, we are given percent mass per volume. So 5% mass per volume, and we will convert this to mass percent. So percent by mass. So how do we do this? Remember what I told you a while ago? When you say percent mass per volume, that is grams of solute per 100 ml of solution. So 5% mass per volume means 5 grams of solute per 100 ml of solution. So let's rewrite that 5 grams of solute per 100 ml solution. And we will convert this to percent by mass. So look at the formula for percent by mass. The formula says that the numerator is grams of solute, and the denominator is grams of solution. Now look at our given. The numerator is already in grams of solute. However, the denominator is in ml of solution. And what we want is grams of solution. So again, we will use the density of the solution to convert ml to grams. So we are given 1.05 grams per ml. This means that 1 ml of the solution weighs 1.05 grams. So we plug that into our conversion. 1 ml of the solution weighs 1.05 grams. So ml of solution will cancel and the unit on the bottom or in the denominator becomes grams of solution. So on top, we have grams of solute 
And on the bottom, we have grams of solution. What's missing is times 100. So just put times 100. And if you solve this in your calculator, this is equal to approximately 4.76, and this is your percent by mass.